Hello, and welcome to the Dojo Live Recap Show this Monday, July 10th, 2023. My name is Kim Lantis, and joining me is co-host America Guerrero. Hello, hello. Hey, You're everybody. Here. <laughs> So what do we do on the recap show? We talk about the great shows we had last week on Dojo Live. In case you missed it, as an incentive to go ahead and watch it. You can catch all shows at our website, dojo.live, uh, YouTube, and our socials as well. And of course, we want to share our insights and what we enjoyed about those shows. And we're also going to talk about what we've got coming up this week as well. Uh, so last week, it was just one show here on Dojo Live, but it was a great show. And that happened to be with Bryson Bort, who is the CEO of Scythe. And we talked all about what the real threat in cybersecurity is, taking a closer look and understanding who's behind the security breaches, um, what their motives are, what that looks like, why it keeps happening, and of course, what can be done about it. What were your takeaways from Bryson's show? Uh, well, he has a great personality, and you will know Super about fun. it once you start the video. So, do not say more spoilers. But ah, spoil I, it! Spoil it! It's spoil all it. about unicorns. It was, it'll be a first here on Noja Live to have a guest wearing a unicorn headband the entire time. <laughs> exactly, and there is a reason why. But first, let's talk about Side, which is a company that is revolutionizing the conventional method of ensuring information and security by elevating vulnerability assessments to a higher standard. So that is what they are doing. And it is interesting how this company is learning from errors from the past and also being ahead of the future that is coming in cybersecurity space. So it was a really great conversation um, about the unicorns. Well, you need to watch the first five minutes of the show to understand that it is a unique logo that they have. And they are also have like swags and yeah, uh, stickers yeah. and uh -huh. a very unique logo, very memorable logo, which I guess is what brand awareness is all about. So they do a great job there at Scythe in addition to the great job they're doing for cybersecurity. So yeah, I mean, Bryson has been around in the space for a really long time. He has his own BAM method as he calls it, where he really just talks a lot about reconnaissance, um, and, you know, the actual entry process and then what can be done after in terms of security. And I think it's really that after, you know, the prevention that he talks about with that reconnaissance, it's really important, but it's also the after that's really important. And their approach, which isn't just about identifying who the bad players are, but really about identifying how they play. And um, that being a really, really, really great way to both prevent and then, you know, if there is a breach, fix it as soon as possible. So definitely check out uh, what they're doing there at Scythe. And I think also with me, it was really worth mentioning that he he mentioned a lot about the have and the have nots in terms of companies and how, you know, it's very small percentage of very large companies um, that actually have the ability, right, to really, really invest in cybersecurity. But it's extremely important because as we talked about on the show, also every tech Every company is a tech company these days, right? And I think the example that came up is even if you're just selling cookies, right? Cybersecurity needs to be something that's important to us. And how there's really the side of kindness and empathy and for getting the haves to realize that it's really important to have the have-nots having such security as well, um, not just for the best interest of the have-nots, but it's also in the best interest of the haves, right? And he had a really great anecdote and story to tell there as well, involving a casino in Las Vegas and how they were breached. Uh, we're so really great story. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it was super fun. Super fun show. Very entertaining show. Uh, very informative show. Uh, so definitely, definitely check that one out. Now, this week, we've only got one show uh, geared up for you as well. That's going to be with Kibo. Uh, tell us more, Ami. Yes, the person is Barsan Mosafari, CEO at Kibo, and the topic is going to be about machine learning to the rescue of the data team. How can machine mm. learning technology help manage insane volumes of data and keep cloud costs in check? Don't miss right. the show. Super That's timely, very important, right? Uh, machine learning, AI, it's all the buzz. It's there again. <laughs> All right, so we'll catch you on Thursday at 10 o'clock Pacific, 
right on Deja Live. And until then, check out our past shows. There's over 500 of them for you to uh, look through. So there's definitely going to be something that piques your interest. All right.